Hello and welcome to another circuit experience on Gran Turismo 7. Uh, this one is Spa uh, Francochamps. Uh, yeah, so this one's quite a good one. Uh, four sectors, each quite tricky. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on here. So here we go, sector one, the hairpin, and then up through Rouge. So yeah. Heading down to here, you're looking for just bit after the 100 meters uh, and then hard on the brakes into second gear. You could drop into second, uh, first gear, however, um, you need to really pop it back up into second for exit so you don't lose your back end. So, again, as you can see, didn't quite get the turning quite right there. Keep it as close to the apex as, pro pro as close as possible. Easy out. Uh, once you get back onto the accelerator and down the straight here, keep to the right. Uh, you're going to just turn in about that lamp at the right there. Keep it tight to the right as you can. And as you can see, I overdo it. And both. This is something you're going to have to be careful of because it's a blind uh, apex or a blind corner. You are trusting instinct as much as uh, routine. Back on the brake, slightly out brake myself there, got around really slow onto the accelerator because of the risk of spinning the tail end out. Uh, keep it nice and tight in at the right here, cutting in at a nice angle, following the uh, tarmac that's all, or the rubber that's already down on the ground. Slight lift there coming through this one, I think that's what cost me my time there, however. I do manage to get a nice little gold in there. So moving on to sector 2 now. Um, this one is the S's and going down to the long right. On a downward hill slope and then a left. To go down even further down the hill. So coming up to this one, you're looking for just a, a, the curb in here and then you want to get right hard onto the brakes down into third gear. Clipping that one not too fast round at this point because you want to keep to the left before coming through the right. Uh, however, I pushed a little bit too hard there and it's quite easy to go off the track there. So just be careful, mindful of uh, feathering the accelerator through there until you know you're dead set on a straight and get yourself in there. So coming back down, clipping it nice into the apex there keeping it left there, accelerated a wee bit too hard at that point because you wanted to be further over to the left to make this corner a wee bit more open. Uh, coming down here, curb on the left, got on the brakes there, coming right in on the, uh, in the right, nice and gingerly round, second gear, pop it up into third. I turned in a little bit early there, however you want to ride the curbs out, straight down here and we should be pretty good onto that one. So on to sector 3 here, uh, again this one isn't actually too bad, uh, as long as you've got good throttle control here you should be absolutely fine, uh, as you'll see here. So coming down the hill, uh, you're looking for just where the 50 and the uh, curb in is, slight dab of the brake, slow down, let the car coast round until you feel like you're making it round, gently onto the accelerator and yeah, get, get yourself back over to the left here again, the curb on the left is your marker that you're kind of looking for keep it gently, keep it your foot on the accelerator but not like flat to the floor right, or as you can see what happens there if you just go a wee bit too high because you want to hold the balance of the car there um, so yeah, coming back down here 50 board on the right get on the brake there, dab, good dab off it into the left apex there. Again, I went just a wee bit too fast in, however, the markers are pretty right here. However, it's another fail for me. So you can see, just at the 50, we dab the brake, follow it around, keep it out as wide to the right as possible, tucking it back into the apex there. Again, curb here on the left at the 50, good dab of the brakes. I'm miles away out from this one, uh, which completely hampers here. Uh, 
Yeah, so coming back across the you might have been left hand side, third gear for going around this corner, however, I slightly overcook it. But managed to keep within the line, so that's good. Pop it up into fourth gear and straight up and on to the finish line. However, country mile out, you can see all the errors there. Easily made. Eh, it happens to the best of us. And believe you me, I am not one of the best of us. So let's go again. Let's see how we go. We've noticed our mistakes. Let's see if we can manage to get them in on this one. So we're keeping an eye out for the 50 board there. Small dab of the brake. Trail brake off. Coming round. Hold the next accelerator just nicely. Pop it up to fifth so don't like, push yourself too far out. Curb on the left. Dab of the brake. Get down into third gear, hold it off the accelerator, gingerly back onto the accelerator, over at the left, looking for the curb again, maybe just slightly after your front wheels are past it, catching the apex on the right, straight down here, up into fourth gear, keeping it on, nice and easy. And here we go, we should just jump over the line for a 46. So good. So yeah, onward and upward into sector four here. So this bit is an actual doozy for me. I cannot do this in any way, shape, or form. And as you'll bear witness to here, the bit before it, I can get there no problem at all. However, you will see occasionally push the limits just that little bit too far. Uh, so sticking out to the right, come round there. I lifted on that one, which I shouldn't have, but again, just learning the limits of the car. You're looking for just where the curbs are, uh, however, completely overshot the mark there. And almost losing the tail end there again. It, it's super frustrating. Uh, for some reason, I always struggle with this corner. Uh, even every time, just every time. I, never feel comfortable doing it. So again, coming straight down into here. Keep to the left, out to the right. And I make a complete schoolboy error by going over the white line with both fingers. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid is a stupid is. So let's try this one again. So left here, popping out to the right, not too far this time, like coming at the apex of the curb on the left so you fall in that corner at full pelt, you look for the 100 bar bar just at the curb, again, get yourself over, over the left, second gear, drift out to the right, accelerator down as hard as possible here, and yeah, you should scoop yourself up a nice go. So there you have it, that's all the sectors. We actually managed to get a full lap on the very next one, so I'm going to leave you with the inside cockpit view of that one. Uh, little tunes to uh, accompany it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, I hope this has helped you out a little. Uh, as I say, I'm just a complete and utter amateur, so, uh, or beginner. That's how I got through it. Um, I hope this has helped and I say if you like what you see, uh, drop a little like, a little subscribe and uh, hopefully I can bring you more videos that will help you through your way. Okay, cheers for watching.